Chemical pulping is a crucial process in the production of paper and involves the breakdown of lignin, the binding substance in wood to release cellulose fibres. Chemical pulping methods differ from mechanical pulping in that they use chemicals to dissolve lignin, producing stronger and more durable fibres. Key aspects of chemical pulping. One, the primary goal of chemical pulping is to separate cellulose from lignin and other components in wood without damaging the cellulose. This results in a high quality pulp with minimal impurities too. In chemical pulping, wood chips are cooked in a chemical solution under high pressure and temperature, which breaks down lignin and releases cellulose fibers. The process also removes other non-cellulosic components, such as hemicellulose and extractives, leading to cleaner and stronger pulp. Three, there are several methods of chemical pulping, each utilizing different chemical and conditions. The most common processes include craft processing. It is also known as the craft process, which is later processed into paper. It is the most common process for pulping due to its efficiency in breaking down lignin while preserving the strength of the fibers. Here's a detailed explanation of the craft process. One raw material preparation, a wood chips. Wood chips serve as the raw material for pulping. B mix of woods. The process can handle both hardwoods and softwoods. Two cooking digestion. A chemical solution white liquor. The wood chips are mixed with sodium hydroxide, NaOH, and sodium sulfide, commonly referred to as white liquor. These chemicals break down lignin and hemicellulose in the wood while leaving the cellulose fibers intact. B temperature and pressure. The mixture is heated to about 150 to 170 degrees Celsius under high pressure for several hours. C, delignification. During cooking, the chemicals break the bonds in lignin, dissolving it. Three, separation of pulp and black liquor. A, pulp. After cooking the pulp, the spent chemicals and dissolved lignin known as black liquor. B, washing. The pulp is washed to remove residual black liquor and any remaining chemicals. Four, black liquor recovery. H, evaporation and combustion. The black liquor is sent to a recovery boiler. The organic components are burned, producing heat energy that can be used to power the mill. B. Inorganic chemicals. Recovery. The inorganic chemicals, sodium hydroxide and sodium sulfide, are recovered and reused. 5. Bleaching. It is optional. The bleaching process in the craft method is typically carried out using chlorine dioxide, oxygen, ozone or peroxide. The goal is to brighten the pulp while minimizing damage to the cellulose fibers. Six, pulp processing, drying and pressing. After bleaching, the pulp is further cleaned and pressed to remove water. It is then dried and formed into sheets or rolls. Seven, environmental considerations. A, the craft process is more environmentally friendly than other chemical pulping methods because of closed loop chemical recovery system and recycles chemicals. B, efforts are made to treat emissions and effluents from the process to minimize their environmental impact. Advantages of the craft process. A, stronger fibers. B, efficient chemical recovery system. C, use of wide variety of wood types. Disadvantages. A, odor. The process produces sulfur compounds leading to unpleasant odors, rotten egg smell, if not properly controlled. B, energy intensive. 
It requires a significant amount of energy. In next session, we will discuss about other chemical methods to manufacture paper. Stay tuned to our channel for more inputs of other packaging materials also.